What's up gamers, it's me, Victoria Vion, back at it to give you the information that you need to make sure that you can win in Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch. If you can't tell, this is a very serious, very important video, and I'm actually typing right now a very long essay that I'm going to be sending to the competitive community to make sure they know this tier list too, because this is a tier list about the one and only set of maps in Splatoon 2 that matter, the ones that are good for the Neo Splushomatic. But why the Neo Splushomatic, you might ask? Because the Neo Splushomatic is the best weapon in the game! So you need to know exactly what maps to use this weapon on because that's gonna be how you, my dear viewer, can finally get to X rank. I don't want to waste any time. It's time for serious analysis. The first thing we need to do, of course, is take Camp Triggerfish and just put it into F tier. Good enough. No need. You you know why. You know why. You know why. Let's go. Let's just move on. Move on. Anchovy Games, A tier, has an A in its name. Perfect. Arowana Mall, not A tier. You know why? There's too many A's in its name. B tier, Black Belly Skate Park. We're gonna break away from our old analysis. We're gonna say Black Belly Skate Park is S tier. You know why? Because you can just move around this entire map getting missile after missile after missile. It's so versatile. It's so easy. It's so fun. I have no bias. This is not my favorite map, S tier. Gobi Arena. Look at Gobi Arena carefully. When you get into Gobi Arena, you know what's behind you? A bunch of turf that you, the sploosh, cannot reach. Disgusting. Terrible. Hated. D tier. Humpback Pump Track, aka Better Black Belly. It has the same good stuff that Black Belly Skate Park has, but you know what? You can put the beacons all over the place, and they probably won't get hit, because you have little walls everywhere. So it's got all the things that Black Belly Skate Park had that put it into S tier, like being able to move around the entire map and get like 50 bajillion missiles, and your beacons done break! S plus! Inkblot Art Academy. This one has just the right number of A's in the name. So you know what? A tier. Just like Anchovy. Two A's, A tier. Don't worry about the fact that Gobi has two A's, okay? Kelp Dome. Ooh, Kelp Dome. You, you know what the problem with Kelp Dome is? It has grates everywhere. It, it ruins all the fun. It ruins everything. And for that, Kelp Dome, just as your name suggests, you're going into dang, Darn. Dome. <laughs> D tier. Mmm, Mako Mart. There is no M tier, and I wouldn't want to put Mako Mart in M tier anyway. Mako Mart, unlike Gobi Arena, actually lets you paint behind you when you actually spawn in, so that immediately gives it a lot of power. On top of that, it's so easy to run around the entirety of Mako Mart and go brr, 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 and get all the paint you want. You can climb on top of the little parts of the map and get easy kills. You can flank around the map with ease. And for that, and I give my glass a little bit of my uh, analyst tap, I'm saying that this map belongs in S tier. Perfect. Now, Manta Maria does what Kelp Dome doesn't. AKA, I can actually get on the grates without dying 50% of the time, and that's better than no percent of the time, you know? <laughs> so, uh, B tier. Moray Towers is too tall. F tier. Bye. Muscle Forge Fitness, though. This, this is a flat map. And you know what we say about flat maps here in Sploosh Town? Which, believe me, exists if you look hard enough? A tier. Good map. Fantastic, easy to climb up the little walls and hit people, but the snipers have a little too much power. So I, I, I can't put it into S tier, but A tier is a pretty good place for this map. And now, if you want to talk about maps where snipers have a lot of control and really don't help you as the beautiful, amazing, fantastic, wonderful, superb sploosh that you are, New Albacore Hotel definitely stops you from doing your job a lot. But at least you can put your beacons everywhere? So it would be nice. We'll put it into C tier. That seems okay. Ooh, Piranha Pit. Now this, this is the sploosh map. Why is this the sploosh map? Just, just look at Piranha Pit. Think about Piranha Pit. It holds Piranha Pit in your hands. Imagine that it's there. And think about your thumbs. Your thumbs are like the useless areas of Piranha Pit. Only you will be the one walking down there to paint that turf. And you'll take all that turf and get like two missiles out of it. Can any other map do that for you? No. No, it can't. That's what makes Piranha Pit so good. You want to get 15 missiles in a game? Piranha Pit's going to be the one for you. All you need is three missiles a minute to get to 15 in a game. And if you ask me, that's pretty doable on Piranha Pit. S+. Plus. Now, Port Mackerel is a map that wants to be S+, but just has a little bit too much wrong with it. 
And that answer is just snipes and everybody else. Bubbles come around the corner, you're dead. You go around the corner, you're probably dead to a snipe. But if the sniper isn't there, and you have complete control, and you can missile to your heart's content, S tier map. And if you can have all that area on the sides to yourself, easy missiles. Mwah! Perfect! On the other hand, Schellendorf Institute? Uh, not, not so perfect. Have you ever wanted to missile somebody on the ground, and then all the missiles go on the roof and kill nobody? Mm-hmm. D tier. We're gonna take all the shifty stations and just push them somewhere else. And that somewhere else is A tier, right in the middle, because honestly, they're all too different, and I'm too lazy to put them all on the tier. I, I, I mean, no, it's Shifty Station A tier because there are just so many of them, and you don't have to care because they're not in ranked. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ooh, Skipper Pavilion. Skipper Pavilion is hard because Clam Blitz is like an easy S, and Splat Zones is like an easy C. So why don't, we, why don't we just go in the middle again, like we did for Shifty, and just to put it into, um, into, um, into, um, into, into A minus tier. Yup, that's real now. That's where it is. Snapper Canal? Uh, more like Sniper Canal. <laughs> D tier. Hmm, Starfish Main Stage. You know, if we just ignore half of the title of Starfish Main Stage, we just take the starfish and just... Did you push it out of there? You got main stage. You know what? Main stage has two A's. A tier. Now, Sturge and Shipyard is pretty much the best flanking map in the game. <laughs> it's definitely up there. I feel like the developers were like, hmm, how many ways could we make that so people could just flank around the back of Sturgeon? And they decided, all. S tier. The Reef? Well, the Reef was the first map in this game. So obviously the Reef has to have a good ranking of B tier. Okay, okay, okay. Serious moment. Serious moment. Wahoo World? Probably one of the best beacon maps in the game. You put the beacon on the ground, the ground spins, the beacon's in the back now, and when you jump in, you you die. You, you die when you jump into that beacon that's in the enemy side. The, the, the A tier. And now, folks, we only have one left. Walleye Warehouse. The... the originator of the rat memes. For those that don't know, the reason I started playing Sploosh was because I won a game on Walleye Warehouse that I never should have. But before I tell you what the ranking is, I have to explain. Walleye Warehouse is stupid thin. Dummy thin, dare I say. The beacons? You can put them in every single corner. So why not place your beacons down, back up, pop a missile. Get ink from every corner, back up pop a missile. Eventually, you will kill people. You know why? Because the hallways are so thin here. People just get trapped by missiles all the time. It's so stupid. It's so good. S plus. Easy. And after listening to all this, I think that we'll be having some new x rank players very soon. Please, go ahead. Pick up that sploosh. That Neo Sploosh. None of those other splooshes that actually do objective better. No, 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 This one, Neo Sploosh. Go into ranked and just see how high you can climb with this beautiful weapon. I promise. You'll be getting to X rank, you won't regret your choices, and you have no reason to disagree with this tier list because I am right. <laughs>